realizing that it's most conversations when there's some kind of task or duty involved in that that maybe is not getting done to a certain expectation. It's not about the person. It's about the, pa the task and the duty. So when you look at objectively the task and duty and the behavior, then it's not the person, right? So now you can say, hey, I see this as a problem. I feel we can correct this. This is what I'm seeing. This is the expectation, and this is what we need to accomplish on the other side of it. That's kind of a condensed version, but it's going and changing and talking about the behavior. And it's not you, 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 you're doing such a lousy job. It's, I'm concerned. I feel we can do better at this. How can we come to an agreement, or how can we correct this? So that is the first tip. Um, number two is that you listen to a whole conversation. I, I am firmly a believer in Steve Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I think that's just an awesome book. The, the, one of the seven habits is to seek first to understand and then to be understood. So when you ask somebody about something, it's really difficult, but we need to listen. So in that listening, it's listening to the whole story, being attentive to that story, and then responding in a way that reflects you listened and you heard and you understand where they're at, and then how, we can be, how that can be an understanding going forward. So number three <laughs> is that through these, we do get better. So when we're stepping into a courageous or difficult or tough conversation, whatever we want to label it, we go into this idea that there's learning to be had on the other side of it. And compromises. It's okay to compromise or to go into a conversation and say, okay, I understand where you're coming from and this is where I'm coming from and we can agree to disagree. And that's fine too. It's very healthy.